Johnstown police still investigating after they say shots were fired near a Johnstown playground a few weeks ago. But today, they recognized a young man for his actions when it happened. Police say the greater Johnstown ninth grader stepped in and helped several young kids to safety. Tonight, they're calling him a hero and a role model for his peers. Maria Miller has the story. I was playing basketball with my friends, and there's about 20 kids there. And across the street, we just heard some shots go off, so kids started panicking and everything. Dakari Tysinger remembers it clearly. The moment shots were fired near the Park Avenue playground in Moxham a few weeks ago, he was there with his friends and his little brother, who he says was his main priority when things turned into a panic. I was going to hop the fence, but most importantly, I was looking for my little brother. But he was already across the fence, and there were two little kids crying that they couldn't get over the fence. So I helped them up, and then I made sure they were okay, and then I hopped over. Fortunately, police say no one was injured in the incident, and they're still investigating. But they say what Dakari did was heroic. And that's why they recognized the Greater Johnstown freshman on Wednesday. So often the young people in the community don't get any recognition and you only hear bad things. I think when something good like this happens and you have a young man willing to stand up and take a risk and uh, help other people, I think it's something that needs to be recognized. He felt good that he could help a lot of kids. Some of the parents um, of the kids he helped came to him and thanked him and said how special he was. The Johnstown police chief and city manager surprised Dakari with a special lunch, a hat and a t-shirt with his family standing by. Although he's just a young guy now, hopefully we can plant that seed in his head that, you know, Johnstown's a good place to stick around and hopefully, you know, these kind of people I think we want in our community is proud. It was a proud mom moment, definitely. If he was my son, I'd be proud of him. I'm proud of him now. Craig Faust said in a few years he'd be proud to see Dakari apply for his force. But the young hero told us he's got a different plan. I might, but I've always wanted to be a meteorologist. I think I'll keep with that. So look out, Tony. He's coming after your job next. <laughs> In the meantime, Dakari says the playground has been empty lately, and he hopes that will soon change, especially with summer quickly approaching. The police department says it'll do what it can to patrol the area, but says it's going to need the entire community to step in and help. Anyone with information on this incident should give them a call. Reporting live, Maria Miller, 6 News.